Yo, it's one boombox, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to optimize, well, not optimize per se, but how to increase your FPS in Daisy Standalone. Now, I had a YouTube subscriber slash viewer. He his name is Braided with Butter, and he asked, "Can you do a video on how to get good FPS like you in your videos?" Now, that I can do. But before I go ahead and start with this video. I want to let you guys know I am not the founder of these tricks or yeah well there you go <laughs> I'm not the founder uh, but the videos I've watched to learn how to do these things and also the forums I've found how to do these things will be posted the links will be posted in the description below so go ahead and give them the uh, the appreciation or you know whatever subscribe uh, just they ha they deserve credit to this you know but I'm just another guy out there just showing you guys if you ask for it I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys what I did so anyways without further ado this is what you want to do now go down now you, you have your desktop go down to file explorer down here open that up and I don't know where it might open up at but for me it's right here on this PC if not just click this PC go to documents go to daisy and daisy config scroll down to GPU max frames ahead and GPU detected max frames ahead and you want to make sure those are both set to one they should be set to I think a thousand by default just make sure they're set to one save go ahead and cancel out of that now go to where it says your name daisy profile not the one where it says your name vars daisy profile you want the daisy profile <laughs> go ahead and double click that or open that with notepad uh, scroll all the way down to you see scene complexity, shadow distance, view distance, and preferred object view distance. Now, by default, I think this is set to about a million. Um, for maximum FPS, set that to about 150. But if if you want, like you know, say say you want nice detail and quality, set that to about. 500,000 yeah 500,000 and make sure this is set to 50 oh, not too 50 and then now now here is all up to you now for optimal best kind of FPS the lower the better but you don't want it too low because view distance and object view distance now combat situations you're not really going to get into combat scenarios that's more than a thousand meters. So go ahead and set this to about a thousand, and you should be set, ready to rock. But there's one more thing. Now scroll up to where you see mouse smoothing. Set that to zero. You don't really need that. That's just taking up extra performance. That I mean, yeah, you want a nice looking mouse. <laughs> I don't know what it does really, but all I know is it just takes up performance, man. That, that's kind of what read in the form. So, anyways, that's pretty much that. Just go ahead and click file, save, cancel out of that. Now, you're done with the uh, the document stuff, kind of. Not really. Now, go ahead and open up Steam. Go to games, games library, right click Daisy, properties, set launch options. <laughs> Set launch options. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I've copied and pasted this off the forums. I'll post a link down there in the description, and I also have this kind of typed up for you guys in the in the description as well. So basically, uh, this is what it is: no pause, no splash, CPU count. Uh, I have six, so that's just me. And maximum memory, you would set this to the max memory of your computer. But games don't really use more than 8 gigs. I mean, you can set it to, say you have 32 gigabytes worth of memory. You know, you set that to 32 times 1024. And whatever that number comes up to be, that's the number you would input. So say like this, it would be 8 gigabytes. That's why it says 8192 instead of 8000. I don't know why they do the t extra 24, but... That's just, hey, that's just the way it works. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, so with the 5820K, I got six cores and 12 threads. I'll go ahead and put that there. And I am done. Click OK. And that's that. All the hard work is out of the way. And 
I will see you guys in game for the in game settings. To finish the uh, tutorial, we'll go ahead and go to configure. Click now. Pretty much, while you're here, is you, what you want to do is you want to. Now, okay, you might be overwhelmed by some of the things here, but you would want to click video and make sure this is always at 100%. No matter what you guys do, make sure rendering resolution is always at 100%. If you want to um, go higher than that, yeah, you will get a crispier looking game, but 100% is kind of the the bouncing point. I mean, that's you know what? Just you know what? I'm not even gonna explain it. Let's just leave it at that. All right. <laughs> Now, VSync. Uh, VSync, you want that disabled. Basically, what VSync does is it kind of synchronizes all your frames and it helps prevent screen tearing. And if screen tearing, if you guys don't know what screen tearing is, there's plenty of videos on YouTube about that. Uh, basically, it's just kind of where the uh, frames or pixels don't quite line up. You'll just see like a box and it won't be lined up. That's kind of screen tearing in a way. Uh, but only when you're doing fast movements. I mean, yeah. Anyways, so basically, once that's out of the way, you want to go to user interface. It's all up to your guys' screen or your personal preference. Make sure this matches with your screen resolution. Go ahead and click close. Quality. And me, I like a lot of things on high normal. At normal, for me, normal is. That's it. I have to have normal or high. <laughs> but. For optimal FPS, objects low, terrain low, clouds disabled, and shadows low. Okay. Rendering, you want anti aliasing disabled. Alpha coverage will automatically be disabled with the anti aliasing. Very low, ambient occlusion, all just pretty much everything off. It's the lowest settings you can get everything just off here I mean it's just wasting your performance make sure this is on auto but that again when you guys did that um, that thing back in Steam with the memory thing it's kind of already set to the highest well not to the highest higher than the highest uh, setting here so you should be fine uh, this is all up to you guys uh, don't really impact your game performance that much but the filtering filtering I'd put that on normal and details all depends on your graphics card that's just it's all up to you but me I like very high and pretty much all that being said I went from 60 FPS in the main menu now I'm at a hundred and ninety FPS okay now now uh, once you guys have the game up and what you guys want to do is you want to press Control Alt Delete. Now open up your task manager and you want to go to details, uh, find Daisy EXE. You want to right click that. You also want to click set priority and set that to high. It pretty much sets that above all the other priorities of your system and your CPU. That way, it's like that's the main thing it worries about. Then the rest is whatever on your CPU. Make sure that's that and. That's, that's pretty much it. I mean, there's not much there. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe.